Okay guys, welcome back to another episode of Nick's Tips. Today, we're gonna to be cooking with gas. So stay tuned. Okay guys, gas, gas and more gas. So where do we start? Well, let's look at gas bottles first. Okay, there's two different styles of gas bottles that they make. One, which has a POL valve, okay? And the other, which is a small 3 8 bottle, okay? Completely bottles to use for different situations. Okay, I'll explain more a little bit soon, but we'll start off with the uh, basics with you, especially with your cooking. So if you are going to be using gas, what are the different type of uh, burners to use? Okay, well starting off, if it's just going to be you and you are wanting to go somewhere and just cook up something small, a little container, you can get these little things. These are like a little scout stove. Okay, fold away design and they actually attach onto a small little tiny gas bottle. Okay, so this can be unscrewed, packed away, put back in, okay? When you're moving up into your bigger equipment to use, okay, a lot of people nowadays have got one of these, okay? Which is a little portable stoves. These are a great idea because you can actually use the gas bottles, which are these here, which simply plug in, you can go away, start your cooking, and you can also use your camp ovens on these as well, okay? So don't limit yourself to what you can actually use when you're actually cooking with your camp ovens. Thirdly, we've got this one here, which is your ring burner. The ring burners actually come in a couple of different sizes. That's your circular double ring burner. You can get triple, and you can also get square ring burners as well. And you've also got the larger three styles if you want to do any large wok cooking, okay? Then you've got these, which are dub double burners, okay? A lot of companies do these nowadays. This is an Austral one here, okay? Um, they do come with the hoses, okay, so you do get the hose. These type of hoses you'll find won't actually have a regulated piece on them, which is one of these, okay. A regulated hose is what we call a low pressure hose. So a low pressure hose that actually uses a regulator to regulate the amount of gas coming through the pipe to run your units. So when cooking with a low temperature hose, and using one of these, okay, it actually uses the gas bottle's own gas flow to regulate through the burners, and the burners actually adjust themselves. So this one here is the double burner, okay? And you'll find that it doesn't have a bottom rack in it, okay? So this would be a basic one to start out with, okay? The ones with a stainless steel rack, which sits over the top, okay? Allows for just a little bit of easier clean up, okay? So that's a couple of the options there you can use, okay, when using it. Also too, with cooking as well, using a ring burner, you can use a camp oven mate, okay? A camp oven mate, you've probably seen in our videos, is the item that we use when we do do a lot of cooking um, outdoors. So um, it just uses a single ring burner, as you know, to run them. So that's another great item, but at the moment I haven't got any here. So, um, okay. Now talking about with your gas with your bottles as well, there's a lot of different bottles you can use these days, okay? Coleman have got their own branded bottles that they use, which is designed for their own style of um, cooking units, okay? They can run off this type of bottle, but you can get the adapters for them, which will actually run off both styles of gas bottles here. Okay, that's actually the piece they come with here. Okay, as you can see. Right. So basically, the unit screws into the unit, and the gas bottle screws on the top. So you can use just a couple of little bottles if you're just going camping for an over weekend stay. Okay. Now you're probably thinking as well. Well, you want to cook at night, so what's the best thing to use on top of that? Well, they do come with these here, which are a stand, okay? So the idea is that'll screw on top of your gas bottle, you always connect something to the bottom, and you can put a light on the top. Now, they do have two styles in these. This one is designed for the 3 8 style of gas, and you've got a bigger one here, which is designed for your POL bottles, okay? If you are using a POL type bottle, okay, make sure you don't use an adapter designed for the 3 8 bottles because they're not tight enough to actually screw in and won't keep it steady, okay? These have design being designed to actually have adjusters on the bottom which actually keeps it completely level, so don't do it. All right, so you've got different bottles, all right? You want to use a 3 8 hose, okay? Well, 3 8 hose, and you want to use a POL bottle, okay? So if you are doing a lot more cooking, especially using a couple of different items, okay, you can get adapters for them. Okay? So this adapter here would be used for 
um, running your 3 8 hose, okay, which is that style there, with this, screws on top, that sits in the bottle, you've got a lot more gas. But you can also go down as well, so you can adjust it from a large POL, screws on top, goes on top of the 3 8 Also too, um, it's not good to actually use joiners with your adapters, okay? Try not to have too many adapters because you are using gas here and it is quite volatile, so you still have to be careful. Alright guys, I hope that gives you a bit of a few tips to use with uh, using different cooking equipment here. As I said, if you've got any more questions, you can shoot us an email and we'll be able to sort you out. Okay guys, well, that's Nick's tips for this week and I'll see you next time.